interesting things in theater is the many different types of curtains that surround the stage. Travelers and tabs and borders and legs and scrims. What are they made out of and how do they move? Today, I'm going to tell you a few of the most popular curtains, all of which can be found at the Grunin Center. In simplest terms, theater curtains or stage curtains are large fabric pieces used to conceal the various parts of the stage from the audience. They can be categorized into three different types, proscenium curtains, backdrops, and masking curtains. Proscenium curtains include the main curtain and the main valance, which both provide a decorative barrier between the audience and the stage. As with everything in theater, a curtain may have several different names depending on where you are in the world and where you received your theater training. You may have heard the main curtain referred to as the grand drape, the front curtain, or even the house curtain. The Grunin Center has a main curtain that is eggplant in color, made of velour, and is split in the center. Backdrops primarily hang in the rear of the stage and are usually sewn flat to create a surface for painting on or for projecting scenery. The Grunin Center uses a white cyclorama, or psych, as the backdrop for most performances. The psych is very versatile as we are able to project movies and images on there and also create many different lighting effects. Masking curtains are used to conceal the lighting equipment, hardware, and backstage area from the audience. The different kinds of masking curtains include borders, legs, midstage, and travelers. Borders are short, wide, and span the width of a stage in order to mask the scenery and lights above the stage. They are the curtains that frame the top of the stage. Legs are found on either side of the stage and are parallel to the main curtain. They are used to block the audience's view of the backstage area. Depending on the theater, there are usually three or more legs on each side to help frame the stage. Although the midstage and the traveler curtains are used as backdrops in some theaters, they are mostly used as masking curtains at the Grunin Center. We hang either our midstage black or silver chiffon curtain if we want to make the stage look smaller, if we need room for equipment storage, or if a crossover is needed behind the performing groups. We use our black traveler to mask or frame the psych and the painted backdrops when not in use. Our traveler is made out of velour and has a split opening. There are many more types of theatrical curtains out there, but these are the main ones used at the Grunin Center. While most of the curtains stay in one place all of the time, the tech team is able to move and use the others based on the needs of the artist performing on the Grunin stage. Well, that's it for today. Stay safe, everyone.